Hi, I'm Hazel, and today I'm showing you the add-ons that I am using in WoW Classic. After a few weeks of experimenting, I think I have things mostly nailed down to a core 8. Just like on live, my WoW Classic UI really starts with Bartender 4. This is what I use to move and resize my bars, as well as keybind them really easily. I set mine up to look exactly the same as my retail WoW bars, just to make it feel all warm and comfy. Next is Shadowed Unit Frames, which is another one that I also use on live. I installed this specifically to get a clearer view of my debuffs on my target. I did a dungeon on my Warlock where there was also another Warlock, and the default classic UI makes it a real mystery whose dots are whose. Shadowed lets you show only your debuffs, and also does a bunch of other stuff, but that was the thing that I was itchy for. It's also nice to customize the text on your unit frames, but be warned that Classic will only show add-ons the health percentage of a mob and not the health total. Everything shows as 100 health, as in 100%. If you want health totals, you'll need to use an add-on like Real Mob Health that creates them itself. Another UI add-on I use is KUI nameplates for these delightfully clear nameplates with my dots tracked right above them. Something to keep in mind is that WoW Classic has a maximum nameplate range of 20 yards. You used to be able to bypass that with a chat command, but that has been hotfixed and no longer works. No matter what nameplates you use, if you are farther than 20 yards away, they are not happening. Don't blame the add-on, blame 2004. Up next is a new favorite of mine, Leatrix Plus. This can fly under the radar because it's not a super flashy thing that you'll notice on a stream, but Leatrix does a little bit of most things really well. With it installed, typing slash LTP brings up the menu of quality of life options, some of which will blow your mind. For some highlights, in the automation tab we have sell junk automatically and repair automatically. I also like use class colors in chat, faster auto loot, show vendor price. Uh, I used to use a separate add-on called vendor price for that, but if Leatrix is gonna do it, that works for me. The Leatrix auction controls are nice too. When you go to post an item, you get a little button letting you look it up to see what the going rate is. Speaking of the auction house, next is Trade Skill Master, or TSM. This is another add-on that does 12 things plus the kitchen sink, but what I really like it for in Classic is market prices in tooltips. Mouse over a thing and you can get a ballpark idea of the auction house values based on data from your own scans and now the TSM database. As it turns out, doing auction house scans sounds worse than it actually is. It takes maybe a minute and gets your info up to date. TSM also makes it super easy to pick up all mail, find profitable things to craft, search for things on the auction house, and all that jazz. The downside to TSM is that it's intimidating and comes with a learning curve, but if you can climb up that hill, it's a whole new world. My next add-on is less life-changing but still very nice, and that's Details. There's nothing like a good damage meter. Details for Classic works almost exactly like it does on Live, and it's just nice to have meters on hand if you're used to them. I enjoy seeing how my damage stacks up relative to the groups that I'm in, or even just how it progresses over time as I level and get new skills. Speaking of dungeons, I also have DBM installed. I picked this up because it's available and just felt like a good idea. DBM gives you alerts and timers for the various boss fights in the game. I don't know that I really need it for classic, but I also don't know that I don't. Anything that'll help me embarrass myself less in pugs is an easy pick for me. And the last one on my list is actually a warlock specific mod, and that's Necrosis. I got this because it tracks how many soul shards I have, automatically puts them into a designated bag, and then auto deletes them after I have a set amount. It's hard to overstate how nice that is. It's also got lots of other options for handy menus and this little dot duration meter. Everything in Necrosis can be toggled on or off, so you can just pick the parts that you like and then hide the rest of it. So those are what I currently have installed, but I do have some honorable mentions. Shout out to Auction Faster for making the auction house usable until I mustered the emotional strength to sit down and set up my TSM. There's also a few widely used classic add-ons that you might want to check out. I'm just not using them because I'm a weird, cranky lady. Questy puts quest givers, turn-ins, and locations on your map. That's very popular. Bagnon brings all kinds of utility, including a search bar to your inventory. Atlas Loot lets you check boss loot tables to see what could have dropped but didn't. And there's also Weak Auras 2 for Weak Auras. If you're not sure how to install add-ons, for Classic, the Twitch app works great for that. To add Classic, you just go to your cogwheel here, add a game, find your Classic folder, and it should be added to this drop-down menu. These are totally separate from live add-ons, so you keep separate lists. Many live add-ons have Classic versions available, but not all of them. So that's what I'm using, at least for now. Thanks for watching, share your favorite WoW Classic add-ons in the comments, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.